Good morning, my dear student. I am your social teacher, teacher of him. Today, I am going to yes, uh, discuss in front of you all uh, about this our past is our yes, unit and lesson past. Okay, this is our lesson. This is our yes, unit. That is our past. Okay. The to discuss about our past, we must have to go the yes before 2007 BS. Before 2007 BS, there was the Rana rule in Nepal. Everybody know that, and uh, it was continued. Uh, for the yes, 104 years by enjoying this yes, unlimited yes, powers and yes, authorities. People who were deprived from their yes, fundamental rights, people's needs, wants and desires are never been yes, fulfilled so that the great revolution was launched in this Nepal in 2007. Then what are the reasons, what are the causes of happening this yes, revolution in 2007? I would like to discuss in front of you according to this point wise to make you more understand why this revolution is happened in 2007. Now, first was uh, the first one is that people were yes, uh, overshadowed. Overshadowed means janta harlago jalmara kiye kothiyo, and country was just quite isolated from the rest of the world. Okay, people's needs, wants, and desire are never been yes, fulfilled. Okay, common yes, uh, Nepalese uh, peoples were not allowed to go in the yes, high post in the administrative affairs. These are the reasons, and there are other many more reasons that the uh, yes. Revolution was just happened in 2007. Common, uh, common people were not getting what they yes, justice. Okay, and the Rana rule were yes, not ready to change themselves. Okay, according to the need of the time, according to the need of these people. Okay, and high ranking yes, government yes, post were yes, reserved only by the yes, Rana family. Okay, common people were not allowed to go uh, to yes, um, in this high rank post in administrative sectors. And yes, people were compelled yes, to live in this poverty and there was no any yes, employment opportunity and there is very yes, backwardness in the sectors of industry and this business in Nepal. And not only this, due to the Second World War, Second World War yes, as well as the worldwide yes, uh, spread of this democracy was also became this uh, major cause to happen this uh, revolution in 2007. And establishment of this many more yes, political party like this Parchanda Gorkha, okay. Similarly, yes, Nepal Praja Parishad as well as Jatayu Sanskritam, yes, movement. These are the reasons that, okay, the yes, revolution was yes, uh, happened in this Nepal and increase in the political consciousness, okay, increase in the political consciousness in this people. So all these are the reasons. Not only this, there is the internal internal class inside this. Uh, Rana family means there is the A class Ranas, B class Ranas, and the C class Ranas. And C class Ranas were not as uh, getting the S or the S uh, fundamental right as, as enjoyed by the S A class Ranas as well as the B class Ranas. So that the C class Ranas just yes, supported to these people and happened was the great revolution in 2007. And one, uh, 100 years, four years, yes, um, uh, old years Rana came to and fell, and this democracy was established. Okay. Now, con, con, yeah, means now there is consequences. Now the result. What happened after this yes, revolution? Okay. Now first, now foundation of this democratic pra practice is started in Nepal. That is this results and increase in this public yes, participation as well as this awareness and beginning of this constitutional practice. These are the results. And Nepal yes, uh, expo uh, Nepal yes, ex uh, expo exposes in this international yes, area. Okay. And yes, people started to participate in this various developmental work and activities. These are these results. Now, after this revolution, the yes, Delhi Agreement was yes, held in Delhi. Okay, what is Delhi Agreement and what are its provision is very very important for this examination point of view, my dear student. Now listen to me here. The agreement that is done between these three parties, that Nepali Congress, King Tiruvan, as well as the Ranas, in the first fall in 2007. That agreement is known as this Delhi Agreement. Uh, it is also known as this Tripurate Agreement, or you can say it is also known as Tripurate Agreement. Why it is known as this Tripurate Agreement, or you can say Tripurate Agreement? Because three parties were, were is involved in this agreement. The first one is this Rana, second one is the Nepali Congress, as well as the third one is this King Tiruvan. The three parties were involved in the first power in 2007 and did the agreement in this Delhi, that agreement is known as the Delhi Agreement, that is also known as the Tripartite Agreement, that is also known as the Tripartite Agreement. Then what are the yes, provisions uh, where yes, um, included there to be yes, followed by yes, three parties in Delhi Agreement? The first one is that election of the, election of the yes, constitution, 
a constitutional assembly to be as held to draft this new constitution. That is the first provision. And similarly, an interim cabinet will be formed by the combination of this 10 coalition government. Now, this five are from this Nepali Congress and five are from this Ranas. Okay, and all the powers of the Sritin, Sritin means this Ranas, all the power of three, uh, three uh, Sritin now vested to their king Trivun, and now King Trivun is declared as a legitimate king of this Nepal. Legi legitimate king means that by the Hanik Raja. Means that all this power that is exercised by the Sri King, now it is vested, that is handover to the King Tirvan, and King Tirvan was declared the legitimate king of the Nepal. And similarly, political prisoners set free without any war these conditions. Okay, and agitators, agitators uh, must have to yes, hand over this various weapons to this government. And to stop this movement immediately. So these are the so are this, uh, provisions, or you can say agreement that has been done at the in the Delhi in the first Fagun 2007 between these three parties that is Nepali Congress, King Tirubhan, as well as what is Ranas. So that Delhi agreement is also known as this triparate agreement, or you can say tripartite agreement. Okay, my dear student, tomorrow again I will come with this next topic. Thank you very much.